Hi guys, it's Yen. I hope you guys are doing well from wherever you are. Welcome to my kitchen because today we are going to be making puff pastry with spinach and egg filling. So it's absolutely easy to make and they're really good snacks. Anyone can have them from breakfast, morning tea, afternoon tea, midnight, any hour of the day you can have it because it is light and it is absolutely tasty. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients today. I'm going to be using the frozen spinach from Aldi. Now the reason why I choose to choose, um, sorry, I repeated myself. So the reason why I choose to, um, to use the frozen spinach is because the fresh spinach is usually scenty and they have a lot of herbaly, strong herbaly scent. And I do not like that, you know, that strong herbaly scent. So I go with the frozen um, spinach. I'll also be using six eggs six of them and the other one is the puff pastry so this is actually the puff pastry sheets it has six of them you can get this from um, Aldi, Coles or Woolworths I usually get mine from Aldi just because I am a lover of Aldi I just love buying things at Aldi so yeah let's not forget you also need some salt and pepper yeah so let's get started hope you guys like it stay tuned and if you're new to my channel if you really like the video subscribe but don't run away because <laughs> if you run away i will be very very angry i won't be happy so hope you guys like the video and let's get started So as you guys can see, I've already started to put my frozen spinach in the pan, in the frying pan with some olive oil. I'm just going to stir that a bit. Also add some water to it and cover it to cook. So yeah, after covering it, you see the frozen spinach has unfrozen itself and now just mixing it around. So um, the spinach is a little bit too much, but it depends if you guys do not want to have too much spinach in your um, filling, then do not um, use the whole packet. I also added some extra olive oil so I could mix it more properly. And soon I will be adding in the eggs. So you can see the six eggs, add some salt and I beat up the egg and the egg is ready to go onto the spinach as shown. So I'm gonna yeah, be leaving that to cook a little bit so that just that the egg could um, mix in well with the spinach. As you can see, I'm stirring it. So I'm just going to keep stirring it and um, leaving it again to cool, I'm leaving it for some few minutes and then go back to the stirring. So this is because I want the egg and the spinach to sort of be. Um, cooked well and then dried like not looking as you can see it's still looking a bit um, wet so I do not want that and I'm just going to continue stirring it until it is fully cooked now you can see I got my puff pastry sheets and I'm just going to divide it them into nine mini sheets and after dividing it I'm going to be putting in the, the filling the spinach and egg filling that I made so I'm just going to divide them um, equally or evenly into the sheets So now that it is done, I'm just adding some pepper to it and I'm going to fold them. So also forgot to tell you guys, guys, um, 
with the puff pastry it's usually frozen but leave it out for a few minutes before making these this is because um, as you can see the puff pastry it is a bit soft now it has unfrozen itself and it makes it easier for you to fold so when folding um, you grab two sides <laughs> two corners fold them in and the other two corners and fold them in so as it is demonstrated in the video that's just the first sheet that I've used and I'm also going to repeat the same process because I'm going to be using two sheets for this so yeah I got my second sheet and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing that I did with my first sheet them to the tray add them to the first ones that I made now I'm also going to be adding some egg um, the egg yolk or the beaded egg the yolk um, on top of them this is because um, I do not want them to open up like once they're in the oven so you can do this with a with the brush but I don't have a brush so I'm just going to use my teaspoon and just to try not to brush a lot of egg yolk on top of them So once that is done, I've placed them into the oven. The oven, I think I set it to 200 degrees. And I think they cooked until they were brown. So probably for about 40 to 45 minutes. And now I'm going to transfer them into a bowl. So while they're looking so gorgeous, uh, 
and brown so yeah so I hope you guys do get to try out this um, <laughs> this recipe or this video or this puff pastry like try it out and let me know if you do get to try it out how it turned out so I would have done a taste test but they're too hot for the moment and this is all I had for you guys today guys